Hello, everybody. My name is John Porcelino. I'm a cartoonist. I live in Beloit, Wisconsin, and um, I draw a comic series called King Cat Comics, which I've self-published since 1989. I'm just about finishing up the 80th issue, and that will go to the printer in a, in a couple days. Um, and I feel fortunate enough to have some work represented in the uh, Wisconsin Funny Show at MOA, currently up. So um, one of the th what, what I was going to do here is uh, show you guys how to make a very simple, very easy um, homemade greeting cards. Part of the reason um, I ended up a cartoonist, I was trained in traditional fine arts like painting and drawing and printmaking and things like that. Um, but I also was um, a writer. And I, since the time I was a young kid, I have been writing and drawing and also um, making little booklets, making little magazines and booklets. I started out, you know, drawing on regular typing paper like this and folding things in half and make, you know, stacking up pages and making little books. And I've been doing that probably since I was eight years old or so. And um, I always was enamored of comics um, for a number of reasons. And, and uh, at some point I realized that comics was a medium that uh, filled all the, filled, checked all the boxes for me. It involved writing. It also involved drawing. It involved storytelling. It involved uh, bookmaking and the printed page and things like that. And so about in uh, my senior year when I was in, in college studying painting, I decided to just focus uh, my creative attention on, on making comics. And uh, I've been doing it ever since. And one of the things that was very attractive to me about making comics was that it's very, very affordable to do. It's very cheap. You don't need to spend a whole lot of money on art materials. Um, you can get away with using the most common everyday uh, drawing materials and, and paper and stuff like that. So um, it's very affordable. I, I, to me, I consider comic kind of a, a populist medium. It's very uh, down to earth. It's very direct. And um, people kind of connect with it in a natural way, I think. Um, and for me as a cartoonist, my goal was to communicate it clearly and efficiently and stuff. And so um, or as an artist, I should say. And so moving to cartooning uh, kind of answered all those questions I had and kind of gave me a way forward with this work. So in that light, this what we're going to I'm going to show you guys how to do today uses the most simple material. So this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of uh, printer paper. I'm old enough that I call it typing paper, but it's it's printer paper, just eight and a half by 11, the kind of thing you buy a hundred sheets of it for a couple bucks, 500 sheets for a couple bucks. And um, I just grabbed a couple things from uh, uh, my studio to show you that, you don't. this is just a Ticonderoga pencil, you know, that you buy 20 of them for a couple bucks, uh, a little writing pen, uh, a Sharpie, um, you know, I, you could, I'm probably going to show you here just drawing directly, but if you're worried about wanting to draw more precisely or something, you can always just use a pencil. And uh, what I'm going to show you here, this is also in, in um, the world of comics. This is a, this is a way to make the most basic, what's called a mini comic. Uh, which is just a very small, simple, uh, self-published little comic book. So what you do is you have your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. You fold it in half. So this ends up being five and a half by eight and a half, like that. And if you see, it's kind of like 
makes a little bit of a kind of a book shape there. Um, this and this is the form that I do my comics in. Um, but then when you take this thing that you fold in half, if you fold it in half one more time, you get again a nice little kind of, I don't know if you can see there, sort of a shadow, uh, like a four page little booklet shape. And this is just with one piece of paper. So what you can do here um, in the mini comics world, you'll take a piece of paper like this and you can draw a cover for your comic book and open it up and start drawing little panels and tell a story across these couple pages and finish it on the back or do a separate drawing or something like that. And this is just, you know, all it is is a piece of paper that costs, I don't know, a penny, less than that maybe even. So, but this also makes a good, this form makes a good, uh, little greeting card that you can make at home and even print out at home if you have a printer. And uh, fits in a nice little envelope and you send it off to your to your friends. So I am going to, um, because it is December, we're gonna make like a little holiday greeting card. I'm gonna bust out the old Sharpie here. And um, just, I guess I'm going to, I was thinking I was going to just draw a simple snowman because uh, that's probably a pretty basic kind of drawing. Uh, it's just basic shapes and stuff like that that you can do. Um, but you can draw anything, you know, and if it's a birthday card, you can draw a birthday cake or a cat or a dog or Christmas tree or a wreath or whatever you want. But so I'm going to start out with a circle, that's a little circle, a second circle underneath, a third circle, look at that. You can see where I'm going with this, right? Uh, you're gonna put a top hat on it, of course, a kind of pointy carrot nose, some coal eyes, some cold, Smiley face, some buttons, some sticks for arms. Now, the one thing that I will say, especially for people who feel self-conscious about their so-called drawing ability or lack of it, um, in the cartooning world, not being able to draw super uh, realistically or detailed or highly rendered is actually, in my opinion, it's actually a boon. Um, because comics isn't about uh, drawing every little detail. Like I don't have to draw every little snowflake in here, right? If I did, it would be a terrible drawing. Um, I'm gonna put some snow back here so you get the idea. Um, what you're trying to do with when you're making comics art or cartooning art is kind of put down the information that's required to get your idea across. It doesn't have to be more detailed than that or more complicated than that. Um, it's something that everybody can do and kind of everybody can do naturally. So I'm going to put under here, I'm going to put some kind of greeting. I'm going to put happy holidays. How does that sound? Sounds festive. And like I said, you can do one of these for anything, it doesn't, you know, we're doing it for, for December in, in Wisconsin. So, um, you know, I just did this in whatever it took, five minutes. Um, now you have the front of your greeting card. And when you turn it, fold it open like a booklet, you see where I'm going with this now. So I'm going to write some kind of wonderful generic greeting. Best wishes to you and yours this holiday season. 
So now here's your greeting. And you can leave a little space there at the top, a little space there at the bottom. And then after you print these up, they're all going to be kind of generic, but you can personalize them then. You can use a different colored pen or whatever you want. And you can write, um, Dear Mr. Jones, best wishes to you and yours this holiday season. Sincerely, John P. So like that, and you could, maybe you could put a couple little snowflakes like that around it. Or you could put, a lot of people would, maybe you'd put like get some of those cheap stickers, sh sheets with like, you know, snow winter beams on them and put some stickers on there or whatever. Now, um, one thing that I like to do, so you've got the front of the card and you've got, you open it up and you've got the greeting. You could even, you could draw something on this side too, if you wanted. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I'll draw something there. What should I draw? I'll draw a wreath just for fun to fill in some space. Here's a quick wreath. Isn't that cool? If I spent a little more time on it, it might be better, but what the heck? They're your friends. They're going to understand. So uh, one of the things that I like to do with like holiday cards or the kind of things that you'd send out annually, uh, birthday cards or whatever, is um, on, the, on the back of it, where it's blank now, I'd put the the year or the date you know so i'd put you know 2020 john porcelino and then that becomes a nice collector's item for your friends that you send these to every year they if you put the date on it like that it's they're required to keep this as a keepsake forever to remember your wonderful thoughtfulness and then they can have a whole collection after like 10 years now what do you do with this so you take it and if you unfold this sheet and see what you have it's going to look a little crazy because half of it's upside down right but this is what you have here is something that's perfectly laid out to lay down on a copy machine photocopier um, or you could scan it if you have a scanner at home or a, a cop, you know, a printer that makes copies at home. You just lay this down on the glass and you can make 500 copies for your 500 closest friends. And you could put it on green paper or red paper or that kind of beautiful glittery paper that has like little pieces of confetti in it. That's always very festive. And these are gonna spit out of the printer and it's, you're gonna get a whole stack of sheets that look crazy like this with drawings going every which way. And then sit down and take each piece of paper, fold it just like the way you did originally, fold it in half and then fold that in half again, like a book. And you got a stack of beautiful Happy snowmen greeting cards to send out to all your loved ones. And I'm sure they'll appreciate it very much. So all this is, is it's one piece of paper. It's a pencil, um, like I say, a Sharpie or a marker. Um, you can print it on any kind of colored paper you'd like. Um, you can uh, decorate it. A lot of times people will make these kind of things and maybe take some markers and you know color in the print after it's printed out it'll print out in just plain black and white and then color in the color in the carrot orange and maybe the top hat blue and things like that or you know open this up and and use some green markers to fill in that and make a red bow or something like that put stickers on it and kind of personalize it that way and go down to the Go down to the Walmart, pick up a set of 
uh, greeting card envelopes, I think they're even called. And they're usually like this about five by six or so. And this, these folded little things will tuck right in there and mail them out to your friends. So that's my uh, how to make a very simple greeting card at home. Put anything on it you want. Don't worry about how good or bad you draw it because everybody you're going to mail these to loves you, whether or not you can draw a snowman to their to to your satisfaction or not. And like I said, this uh, maybe for next time we'll we'll show you and we'll make a little uh, mini comic out of this. But this is here is uh, that's your project for today: homemade greeting cards. Thank you.